Hey guys, Crewman here. On Sunday morning, 1.0 Miner released an update, 1.4.0B, and it added experimental support of AMD GPUs for Zealous. And it supports basically everything that's not Polaris. All the latest RDNA cards from the 5700 XTs to the latest 7900 XTX, Vega 10, Vega 20, along with Radeon 7s, and a lot of the minor supported cards. Basically, the only thing that doesn't work on it is Polaris. So in this video, I tested a ton of RDNA 2, a decent amount of RDNA, and a decent amount of RDNA 1. I don't own any Vegas to test, and I don't think RDNA 3 is worth even attempting to mine on because it's so poorly optimized that I wasn't even going to bother trying. So in this video, I will be showing you every single card with the exception of the 6800, as I don't own one right now, on PMDs, so you can see what it's mining, the overclocks, and the actual power. Now, I do want to say that this is beta, so none of these numbers are going to actually blow you away, but if you were wondering what the first release of 1.0 Miner can do, I'll share it with you right here, and I have BC250s and BC160s being tested as well. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, and make sure you like and subscribe to this video. It was way more work than I thought it would be. So I would appreciate your support. So without further ado, let's get to it. getting the BC160 power readings. I have them in a server case that's pretty accurate. So what I did was I got the PMD power before and after I turned the BC160 rig on, then I got the power from the unit and then I subtracted 100 watts because that's how much the Octominer takes when it's idle. And I got about 100-ish watts per BC160. I have one that's acting up, so I think that might've messed with my results a little bit, but this is good enough for testing. guys that's it for the testing i hope you enjoyed it and i'll leave you with a few thoughts the first is if the rdna1 cards can match their eth performance relative to the 3070 performance on zealous i think they'll be bangers and i think you'll see a lot of them jump on zealous because i think they'll be worth mining on the bc250 if we can also do the same where that can match its 5700 xt performance to like what it could do on eth relative to what the 3070 could do on eth i think that'll also be a banger especially considering you can CPU mine on it too. Now that one was tricky to get the power with because, you know, it's essentially, it's a whole PlayStation 5 computer pretty much. But I think that's the, that's the best of what we could do. We could expect in terms of accurately getting the power. I don't think there's any way to do it any better. If anybody has any ideas on that, please let me know. But honestly, it wasn't bad. I, I have hopes if 1.0 can optimize them properly. I have high hopes for the BC250. DNA 2 was kind of a dud. 
if they can match the performance of ETH relative to the 3070, I think the 6600, the 6600 XT, and maybe the 6700 will be worth mining on. The rest of them, I just think they use too much power and their efficiency just won't be there. So I would pass on those. And obviously I did not test our DNA three because I just don't think it's worth mining on with the lockdown BIOS. So that's it. And just remember that this is a beta so this is all in testing. We want to encourage one zero miner to keep going with this. So don't, you know, don't trash him in the comments saying this is bad. This is crappy. He released it to the public because he wanted our help to test it. And if we can uh, help him, it'll be, you know, it'll do well for us. But one thing, if you're listening to this one zero, I think the dev fee at 3% is way too high. I think you should lower it to, to 1%, but I think 2% would be a fair compromise as GPU profits are pretty bad. So I think there, there should be a, compromise for the dev fee well that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this thank you for watching please like and subscribe as this video took a lot of work to film properly amd gpu drivers on hive os are a pain that's it guys i'll see you on the next one crit man out